Hello everyone, yo Mama Betcha here and welcome back to my channel. Kung bago lang kayo sa aking channel, paki-subscribe, like and click the notification bell as I will be uploading new videos weekly. In today's video, we are going to learn how to upload products and use the Lori Kit tool. Kung nakasubaybay po kayo sa aking channel, yung part 5 sa ating Lazada tutorial series, I showed you the manual and basic upload. Today, we are going to do the same but the difference is gagamitin natin yung Lori Kit tool. So, watch and learn and pay attention to the screen. But, um, let us know muna ano nga ba yung Lori Kit tool. Lori Kit is a decoration tool for your product description. You can create your own design or simply use the templates na nakaset doon to beautify your product descriptions. So, baka maitanong nyo rin, why is the usage of Lori Kit tool important? Um, we have seen reminders sa Lazada Seller Center to utilize itong tool na to. And, um, importante po siya because yung usage ng tool nito will increase our content score. So, yung content score po ay isa po sa ating mga metric bilang seller. So, ito yung um, isa sa mga measurement natin. Um, and I'm going to show you later sa ating screen kung ano tong content score. Because for sure, if you have been using the Lazada Seller Center, nakikita nyo to on the main page. Okay, so this is the screen. Um... Ayan, so sa nakasubaybay sa ating part 1, ito yung store na kinreate natin, 99 store PH, and we are on the main page. And dito sa may gitna, nakita nyo yung content score na yan. Um, as you can see, nasa 76 tayo. Our target is 75 or more. So status natin is good, kaya siya napag-green. Okay, and um, I'd like to mention that using or meeting the content score products has higher chance to get more search visibility sa Lazada website and conversion rate which is equals to sales or revenue. Okay, so as you can see here, and dito yung uh, mga metrics natin, positive seller rating, return rate, SOT, cancellation rate, chat response time, and so on. So maybe I will be making a a different video about the metrics. So, bilang seller ng Lazada, ito yung performance natin na kailangang i-meet or yung mga metrics natin na kailangang i-meet okay, para maging successful tayo sa Lazada online selling platform. Okay. Ayan. So, I'm going to show you now. We are going to upload products manually and we'll show you by using the Lori Kit tool. So, in uploading products, click products and add products tayo. Okay? And then, um, so, as usual, we have here the product name and category. And, um, before ako mag-upload, nakaredy na po yung ating mga description and all. Ayan, as you can see, ito yung i-upload natin today. Yung birthstone na stud earrings. So, we're gonna copy-paste that here. And mag automatic po yung category suggestions niya. I-select nyo na lang po kung ano yung um, category na fit sa product na i-upload nyo. And the brand, if it doesn't have a brand or hindi kayo, um, or walang brand, just put no brand. And then yung model is, yan, lagay natin as birthstone, stud earrings, and let's scroll it down. Okay, nakita niyo yung Lori Kit. Yan yung short description. Ayan, yung usual page na nakikita natin in uploading product. So, in using the Lori Kit, ayan, nakaha-bullet uh, na yan. So, create new lang tayo. Of course, you have to make sure na may pictures na tayo na naka-ready. Na ang size po ay dapat 500 by 500 pixels ang size niya. Okay, itong copy decoration by the way, um, ito yung kung nakagawa na kayo nung inyong um, template. So, madali na lang siya pag nakagawa ka na, pero right now, since we're going to 
start from square one or start from scratch. Ayan, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano. So, create new tayo. And as you can see, meron siyang templates dito. Okay, so kiklik natin yan. Tapos kung manual naman, text, image, table, yan, pwede din yan. Pero I suggest, kung baguhan lang kayo, is to use the templates. Okay, so ayan po, pag kinik natin yung templates, may iba-iba po siyang um, available na, depende po sa category or sa products na binibenta nyo sa Lazada platform. So ayan, may fashion watches, women's dress, yan, um, men's fashion, and so on. Okay, so since yung malapit-lapit lang sa template natin, um, we will be uploading yung stud earrings. We're going to select this one na lang, women's ring. So, click natin yan. Ito. Okay. So, and then apply template. By applying the template, you will lose existing design. So, apply lang po natin. Okay. So, ayan, nakita nyo po. Um, scroll down lang natin. Ayan, para may idea lang kayo kung paano or how the template looks like. And this template, by the way, can be edited. Okay, eto na po yung pinaka-simple and pinaka-mabilis na paggamit ng Lori Kit tool. Okay, so I'll try my best para explain yung pinaka-simple at kayo po ay matuto kung paano gamitin to. Okay, so eto siya, itong unang picture, i-double click nyo lang po and may lalabas siya na options to upload new, duplicate, or delete. So of course, we're going to change the picture sa upload new po tayo. Okay, and then you get the picture kung saan nyo sinave, um, kung anong picture yung ilalagay nyo, just select it, click open. Okay, so na-replace po yung original na picture niya. Okay, nakita nyo? And then, scroll it down. So, same thing naman sa pangalawang picture. Double click. Um, and then, select natin, upload new. Okay? So, lalagay naman natin yung ikalawang picture. Okay? And then, you can also adjust yung size niya. As you can see, ayan siya. Okay? So, later, ipa-finalize natin yung um, itsura niya. Okay? So, if you have more pictures, so, ganun lang din po yung proseso. But, since I only have um, three pictures here, or I would suggest you upload at least three dito sa Lori Kit. So, ayan, in-upload natin. And then, the rest of the pictures, of course, i-delete natin siya. And also, the rest of the details. Pero nasa inyo na po yan kung paano nyo siya i-design. But, sa akin, i-delete ko tong mga um, information na hindi naman kailangan. Okay? So, delete natin yan. Um, eto rin, i-delete natin. Okay? So, um, as you can see, yung paggawa po ng ating template dito sa Lori Kit, um, yung first time, medyo mabusisi po siya. Pero, as soon as makapaggawa na tayo nitong ating sariling template, madali na lang po siya sa mga susunod na um, upload using the Lori Kit tool. So, ayan. Isa-isahin natin siya. Um, we are going to delete that. Ayan. I-drag lang natin. Okay. So... Hindi ko ipa-fast forward tong video na to para makita nyo kung paano lang natin ginawa manually. Okay? So, ayan. By the way, pag nagawa na to at na-save na siya, and then you upload another product, um, you, we, mas mabilis na lang po yung pag-upload natin. Kasi may pre-template na kayong nagawa. Okay? So, i-adjust lang natin. Lagay natin sa gitna. Okay, drag nyo lang siya. Okay. So, depende na po sa inyo yan kung paano nyo isusunod-sunod yung mga um, picture. For example, eto. Like, kung gusto nyo yung itong picture na to ay mauna sa um, first page. So, i-click nyo lang po yung um, arrow dito sa kanan. Okay, papakita ko. Ayan. 
ito, i-delete din natin to dahil hindi siya kailangan. Dami pa lang pictures nito. Okay. So, ito yung pinaka-simple na as I've said. Okay, lalo na, you, you don't really need to be technical para matutunan to. Okay. Ito, you can retain it, retain this one as is, di ba? Uh, maganda yung description niya, pero, yeah, i-delete na lang din natin to. Um, again, para simple lang yung ating um, design. Okay. And then, so, may mga spacing po dyan na kulay white. As you can see, adjust natin yan. Okay. So, yun yung ginawa ko yung arrow na yon nilagay ko sa taas. So, yun yung kung gusto nyong i-rearrange yung picture, you can do that by clicking on the arrow. Ginawa ko kanina. Um, ito rin, i-delete din natin. Ayan. And then, so may mga white space, you can adjust that. I-select nyo lang yung picture. And then, itong module height sa kanan, kung nakikita nyo po, yung 2072px or pixel. So, i-adjust yeah, natin yan. Um, based lang sa number. So, halimbawa, adjust natin to um, 1-8. Okay? Ayan. So, marami pang white space. So, adjust ulit natin. Um, babaan natin to 1-5. Um, hindi pa rin ako contento. Again, that depends on you kung gusto nyo. But, this is how I do it. So, ayan. So, at least yung spacing ng white from one picture to another Ganyan lang yung spacing natin. And then, same thing with this picture. So, select nyo lang. And then, adjust nyo din yung module height nya. Para walang masyadong spacing pagdating sa Lazada website. Okay? So, kung kontento na kayo, scroll down. Um, and then, nakikita nyo to. Itong material process, polishing. Yeah, nasa template yan. I think dahil nga we are um, uploading a jewelry or fashion items, ilalagay ko lang yan as is. So, hindi ko na siya, hayaan ko na lang dyan. And then, eto, um, it's a different brand. So, syempre, lalagay natin yung brand natin, 99 Store PH. Ayan, i-capital natin. Okay, and then, etong... Um, description kung you know what's what is 99 store PH all about upload tayo ng picture dito um, eto yung ating supplier from China picture ng store so ilalagay lang natin yan and we are going to change the description okay punta lang ako sa isang page I'm gonna get the description ng ating shop hindi ko na matandaan kung saan ko si Maeve. Okay, pipaste ko lang. So, bear with me. Ayan. Okay, so yan, ginawa ko yan. And then, ayan, ikaka-paste lang natin dito. Okay? So, you get the idea na. So, yan ang pinaka-simpleng template. And then, adjust nyo na lang po accordingly. Ayan, and then the description. Adjust natin. And then, i-review nyo na lang yung inyong nagawa. Okay. So, scroll up natin. If you are satisfied already with the work you created, you can, yan, click the save button. Okay. Save lang po natin. And it will automatically be saved dito sa ating upload. Yan. As you can see, andyan na siya. Okay, and then you continue na po with the short description and so on. So, itong short description, I'm gonna put it here, copy-paste ulit. Okay, so just the regular process of manually uploading your items. So, yun yung gagawin natin. So, okay, copy-paste ko and then in bullet points and so on. Ayan. Okay. So, that's it. Um, we are going to finish it later. Um, hindi ko na po siya 
i-record ire yung pag-upload nito but I'll be posting a different video or a new video wherein kung ipapakita ko sa inyo yung live na na item na to um, and then we are going or I'm going to show you how it looks like sa Lazada selling platform or sa Lazada website kung naka format na siya into lorry kit na format okay so medyo mahaba-haba kasi to since um, I think nasa pitong items to na upload so hindi ko na lang siya i-include sa video na to but you know, you get the idea. Um, napakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano i-utilize yung ating um, lorry kit tool. So, um, sana may natutunan kayo today. Um, if you have any questions, comments, just feel free to comment down below. Um, I'll be happy to assist you during my spare time. Okay? Um, if there will be delays in my replies, I apologize. You have to bear with me. Um, medyo busy po ako. Okay, so eto ba pala yung isang item pala na ginawan ko ng lorry kit. I'll show it to you lang. And this is how it looks like. So pag scroll down ni customer, okay, applicable po to kahit sa mobile. By the way, makikita dun to. So yan na po, yan ang itsura ng lorry kit na tool na ginawa natin. Okay, again, um, I would like to reiterate again yung lorry kit, ang usage ng lorry kit po. Okay, is to increase yung visibility ng inyong item. Okay, so that's it. Um, and then, hintayin natin konte na mag-live yung upload natin. And then, I will show you yung um, live na um, product sa Lazada site. Okay, so eto na yung um, balikan natin. We logged in. Uh, mabilis lang po siya nag-live. So, we go to manage products. And let's see here yung items na kaka-upload lang using the lorry kit tool. So, as you can see here, it's the birthstone, rose gold, cubic zirconia square, halo stud earrings. So, marami po kasi siyang klase. And eto yung content score. As you can see, 100% po siya. Um, sa content score. So, ikukumpare natin dun sa items na hindi ko ginamita ng lorry kit, katulad nitong 2-tone stainless steel charms bracelet, 62 over 100 lang po yung content score natin. Okay? So, if you would like to increase your content score na metric, then utilize the lorry kit tool. Okay? So, i-click natin tong isa, and then let's see sa Lazada website how it looks like. Ayan na po. Okay, under the 99 store pH. And then, let's scroll it down so we can see kung ano yung itsura niya sa ginawa natin using the lorry kit tool. Okay. So, ayan ang um, four pictures. And then, we, ito yung description. And then, may tatlong picture tayo sa lorry kit. Okay. So, as you can see, professional looking po. Tingnan yung ating items. If we use the lorry kit tool, and we uploaded three pictures then, as required, and eto yung sa template na hindi na natin ginalaw, okay? And etong picture na in inedit din natin, okay? So di po ba kung nakikita nyo parang gawa nari ng professional using the template. So, whatever template you are using, same process lang po. You double click on the picture dun sa lorry kit and then you upload new lang. Um, ganun lang po siya. Um, that's it. So, as I've said, um, if you have questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial and good luck in your selling journey. Bye!